the parchment paper over two one gallon paint sticks. Start rolling. Rolling the dough between two pieces of parchment paper will prevent the dough from sticking to both the work surface as well as the rolling pin. You can also roll the dough to the width of the silicone pad or baking tray and cut your cookies and this will be the total number of cookies on your tray. When it reaches the height of the sticks, you know that that's the thickness of your cookie. And then start trying to cut your cookies. So we're going to cut it this way. And what I'm going to show you, instead of trying to peel it off the parchment paper, we're going to do a reverse peel. So we'll have all our cookies here, all cut out. And I'm going to place my silicone pad on top of the dough, flip over the dough, remove the other washing paper, and then pull out all the excess dough leaving the cookies on the silicone pad. By doing a reverse peel, we keep the integrity of the cookie shape, especially if, it, if the dough is delicate. As I said earlier, you may want to roll your dough out to the size of your silicone pad or baking tray, and when you cut your cookies, make sure you have enough space for expansion you will have a full tray. And the extra gingerbread dough, we'll put it back into the plastic wrap, fold it again, and then squish it down and refrigerate it for a few minutes until it hardens and do it again. Now here are the baked cookies with the reverse peel. Now I wanted to show you the difference between cookies that were transferred with a spatula and those using a reverse peel. The um, snowflake is not as symmetrical and with the gingerbread his arm is touching his head. So I hope this helps with transferring cookies. Have fun baking!